can't take another hell. Designer on me, this they new Chanel. Did they split? Did they drill? Yeah, yeah, champion, huh? Yeah, we here. coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to the desert southwest Glendale Arizona and State Farm Stadium coming up an important divisional round matchup in the NFC between the Seattle Seahawks and the Arizona Cardinals Two spots in the NFC title game awaits the winner here as we're underway in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Chris Carson, and he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Wilson. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and not the free. Now he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That one good for 14 and a Seahawk first. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. down is Carson and he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down. Brandon five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. On second down now it's Carson. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, he'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Seven yards there and a first down. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Now it's Wilson. This one incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there. And it's going to be second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. From midfield now, here's Wilson. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 38-yard line. No catches for him in the wild card win last week, but he's got a first quarter grab here. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. 
Now it's Carson. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. He's taken All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. This is Carson. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. From the gun, it's Wilson. Is incomplete. That's a good job there creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They run the counter. Carson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Give the tackle to Hassan Reddick. A quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers putting their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball, and sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. There's Wilson. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawks touchdown. Philip Dorsett there to make the grab. And the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on the opening drive. Jason Myers now for the extra point. This will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. Makes the score Seahawks 7, Cardinals nothing. Michael Dixon to kick off for Seattle. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's the first carry for Kenyon Drake. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now an option play on second down. Here's Murray, a quick throw complete. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. 
And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. At the 36-yard line. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Seahawks seven, Cardinals nothing. Now it's second and nine. Drake and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled it's a first down on a gain of 10 that's pretty much meat and potatoes right there wasn't it just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle not too fancy there was it nothing fancy at all challenging that defense and on that go around the offense won the challenge Murray's going to yield to Drake on the option. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. On first down, Drake. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Murray to give. This is Drake. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. No gain on the play. It's third down and four. On third and short, they'll try option left. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Second down, here's the option. A quick throw complete out to Isabella. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals are just an extra point away from tying this game. And that drive we just saw that culminated in a touchdown, exactly what many offenses are looking for. Sustained ones that can impose their will on the other team. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Same Gonzalez to kick off for Arizona. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. drive the Seahawks offense and they had to wait a long time to get the football back probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tummy agreed what you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly right looking for a three and out so that didn't happen you can't yell at your D for that they've got to take care of their own business 
and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And some room to run now. It's a foot race. And all the way in, touchdown, Seattle. Chris Carson, 58 yards. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. Now they talked about stringing together some explosive plays here in the playoffs. That was a pretty explosive play. It certainly was. And if you're going to win on the road, it certainly helps to have big playability in your hip pocket, doesn't it? The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. First and 10 at their own 21-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. A good balance attack for that last touchdown drive they had. Now it's time to see if they can do that again. It really becomes a tale of two play callers, doesn't it? The offensive guy, he's in sync. Everything is working pretty well for the defense. Yeah, what's going on in the defensive yeah, side? That's a tough one because he's prepped all week as well, and he can't get a bead on exactly what they're doing right now. What he needs is one of his guys just to make a big play and disrupt things. On second down, it's Drake, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. Back deep for the Seahawks, Tyler Lockett. Fielded just inside the 20. A nice work on the return as he gets about 15 yards back. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Nine-yard line, an eight-yard pickup. First down, Seahawks. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on Divisional Round Weekend. we've done all year that coming up at halftime we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by at Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful divisional round weekend. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Tackle made by Devondre Campbell. That's a really nice tough run inside and they gained five yards on it and be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. So third and two. This quite possibly four-down territory, though, if they're stopped. Here 
here's Carson. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. And the Seahawks first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They run it with Carson. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, Run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. First down, Seattle. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. zone now they'll look to throw this is caught and he will score touchdown Seattle Russell Wilson with two first half touchdown passes here the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further so simple math here in the first half they've had three drives offensively and they have scored every time and they've got the lead well whenever we talk about adjustments we usually talk about an offense making adjustments right this is all about the defense they've got to figure out some way somehow to slow them down do they blitz a little bit more do they play more zone coverage right now they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction fielded a couple yards into the end zone and he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee, and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk-takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Take over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 18. He starts by handing this off to Drake. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. And that ran a heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. And they run the option here on first and ten. Murray going to fire one out wide. As a lineman, they are trained. You've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. Hey, 
And he's going to use his legs here. Here's a quick throw out left. That's caught. It's a 14-yard pickup, but it'll still be second down. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Now they run the option on second down. Pass the 20. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kenyon Drake, 46 yards. And the Cardinals draw a bit closer. A CD, I mean, there are touchdown runs, and then there are touchdown runs. And that one certainly fell into the latter category. And that deserves a couple exclamation points. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. 21, Cardinals 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Eluding the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. From the shotgun, Wilson. And that'll be incomplete. But you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, old momentum, He's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side. And all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The two veterans there, Wilson to Olsen for a Seattle first down. They'll try the left side. Carson. There he goes, left side. 30. The 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Chris Carson saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. Now Myers for the extra point. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. Cardinals 14. Michael Vixen. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Now left side on the swing pass. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. A 
Now they're going option play on third down. That's out to the left and complete. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. Stay in put for now. They'll go for it on fourth down. They'll try and run the option. They throw it out right complete. Room here to run. have cut it to within a score. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. And he's got it up and through. For the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and ten. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Start out on the ground with Carson. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now Wilson. Underneath, he's got Olsen. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Wilson flush to his right he's going to take off with it and a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete well, let's see who this is on 
So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. So the illegal forward pass also cost him a down, and now it's second and long. Wilson. And his pass incomplete. Chris Carson, the intended receiver, and it's third down. He certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Operating from the gun, Wilson escaping the pressure right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Normally we're talking about a quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this with both of these guys running the ball well? Yeah, they've mixed in the run game. You're exactly right. Now, both coaches might not like how much their quarterbacks <laughs> have taken off, but another example right there of just good mobility. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 41. Going to give this time to the tailback. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The 43 yard line. One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and 11. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. And dropped at the 35, but able to display some strength on the run. Eight yards there on the carry, and now they're left with a much more manageable third and three. Third down. to throw. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. Well, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release and they did force the incomplete pass. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. This is going to wind up rough. Well struck, but it's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, that one hurts a bit. That was a golden opportunity to possibly put this one on ice, but he comes up empty. And how big of a miss might that turn out to be? Stay tuned. There's still time left on the clock. This could be critical. Still a one-score game. Had he hit that, it would have been two scores. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now Hundley. This will be his first throw off the bench. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. His pass incomplete on the throwaway. Makes it third down and 12 yards to go. 
The Cardinals on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third down and 12. On play action, they'll throw. He may try and run for this. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Shedding the tackle. Able to slither by. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive. The Seahawks offense. And this has been a tight game to this point. Of course, they usually are at this juncture of the playoffs. But with the lead and the football, the clock right now, their friend, as they try to book their spot in the conference championship next Sunday. Greg Olson was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Now a give right side. It's Carson, and he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Five yards, now it's third and five. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. From the gun on third down, Wilson flushed out right. He can run. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. The Seahawks will go for it. It's Wilson rolling to his right. He may try and run for this. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Carson. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. 
Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. From the gun, Wilson eluding the pressure right. And able to find Dorsett. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Nine yards that time. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. This defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, break it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, this game's over. Keep it on the ground. Carson, and he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Back-to-back four-yard runs. Now look, if they just do that all the way downfield, ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. On third down. It's Carson, and he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. It's a pickup of five, and that should just about wrap this one up. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Love has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. And they have secured a spot in the conference championship. And now you can start to smell it at this point in the season, can't you? You really can because the focus has been one game at a time, not looking ahead. But when you get to the conference championship game and you know you're there, the Super Bowl does loom in the future. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say good night from Glendale.